Hey, what's up? It's Herman Lee here from Dragon Force and you guys have been writing to me to check out some music and react to some music that I missed out while I'm on tour, rehearsing for the tour. So here I am, I am sitting here on tour. They're doing sound check at the back. Hopefully um, you're gonna like what I have to say. I'm just gonna be honest, I haven't seen this video before, but you guys have been asking me to react to the Nita Strauss new song featuring Elisa from Arch Enemy. So this is my first time watching it. Let's see what's happening here. And of course, Nita, she's been on my channel. She's a good friend of mine and absolutely awesome guitar player. And we talked a lot about her and what she's been up to, but let's have an analyze on this new music video from her, Nita Strauss, The Wolf You Feed. All right, featuring Elisa from Arch Enemy. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. I think the first thing you can start off with saying here is this. Look, those people that got really upset because they thought Nita have gone um, into pop music, I think this is a good thing to reassure them. <laughs> you should be reassured now that she hasn't turned her back on metal. She's just trying a different adventure and go and inspire millions and millions more guitar players out there to pick up the guitar. I think it's a really cool thing what she's done to join the Demi Lovato band. Gotta take a risk. I think you can just keep doing Alice Cooper. Sure, it's a great gig and you know she's playing awesome on that but it's about breaking boundaries and taking a risk when it comes to music in life as well in general just from like getting another job going for a different job and trying different things and going to study different stuff it's important that i think we try if possible if we have the means to do it to take that risk in life so you never regret it so i first thing i gotta say is good on her for taking that risk it's not many um rock heavy metal guitar player that can go out there to do this so she's got my support and obviously this is a metal gig this is a metal song here from her probably soon to be solo album yeah that she's been talking about i think she made a great choice here i'm excited let's go Before I break down, analyze this thing, I bet you're thinking they should just make a full album together. It's probably just one song here, but they really should. I mean, this thing is kicking ass here. I should really like the visual, how they've done it. They've got a few different scenes here. They've got the metal scene look. They've got different kind of alternate look with all dressed in white, with the white guitar. And then they've got another scene here. And of course, they have a fan blowing their hair, which I think is extremely important, which I unfortunately don't have right now. I'm not, I don't have it here to do this video. <laughs> that would be cool. Imagine my fan blowing on stage i mean in my videos here again but it's on stage right now so no access to the fan here unfortunately for me bummer no fan for me here but i think the song i think you kind of expected it to be heavy and then you got melodic vocals in the middle i think the way nita wrote this song she really kept in mind the singer that was going to sing on it in this case Alyssa from arch enemy she was a very diverse versatile vocal so it's kind of sounds like she written it around her to make sure to showcase all her skills and i think it's a great thing because most um, musicians, I think, um, want to showcase their, I mean, as much of their arsenal in music, in their ability when they're doing a special guest thing so they can put their stamp on and show their originality. And that's how it should be. You know, you, you have guests so you can highlight the guests and bring the best out of them at the same time. And that's how great musicians write the songs when they have special guests. And in this case, neither obviously definitely did it. I can't wait for the guitar solo. It's better be ripping.
I mean, I can almost say this, um, it's got kind of a poppy chorus. Um, the song is really catchy. You know, hearing it the first time now, getting to the second chorus, I can already remember it. And I, can, I have the memory for it. And I can feel the melodic catchiness. It's very like a pop song. Is this a radio hit right now that I don't know about while I'm in Germany? Is there a radio hit? I don't know. But one thing is that's crazy is this. They're both like very intense and very animated on stage. They're really good performers, right? When if you watch an Arch Enemy show or uh, Alice Cooper, show it's hard to take your eyes off them because they're very animated they have a lot of energy on stage they don't look bored on stage so putting them together is almost like every scene that they cut into including josh on the drum there's something happening there's not like boring one guy just standing there and sometimes you know they have the energy so this got a really good animated energy on the music video these are pro performers how do i say it <laughs> Okay, okay. I, only one criticism I gotta give it. Can I can I criticize something? Look, I love Nita, she's a good friend, but that's the criticism for the director. Maybe, maybe look, they should have put a, they should have plugged the guitar in, even though we know you don't need to plug it in. This is the music video. I like to plug the guitar in, in the music video to pretend. Maybe I'm the poser. I mean I'm the poser, but didn't plug the guitar in. Okay, is this a big deal? Right, you gotta write in the comments. Do you think the guitar cable should be plugged in in a music video? Write in the comment right now, or am I just being crazy? Or you'd rather see the cable plugged in? It's like lie to me. Please lie to me at least. But we still it looks cooler than the cable plugged in. That's my opinion. I don't know. Nita, what do you think? Do you think you Mr. Cable. Ah. That's an inch, that's a cool key change. You know what? This is great. You know why? There's so, there's so much hair in this music video. There's not enough hair in metal music videos anymore. And there's definitely a lot here. I gotta give it to you. Look at the hair blowing in the air. This is my favorite part. Sorry, I don't mean the music is bad. Uh, the music, I really, I think it's really good, but I like it even more. There's so much hair in this metal music video. I miss the hair in the music music video. Metal music video needs more hair. Come on, more hair blowing. I see them in the air. Let's go. Double helicopter. All right. Ooh, I think this is an awesome music video, if you ask me. I think really well put together. I really like the energy of the music video, I gotta say. I don't know, the hair. I really love the hair. There's all kinds of hair. Blonde hair, blue hair, pink hair, black hair. You name it with the fan blowing. I think everyone's a winner there. Maybe I'm a little bit biased. Am I a little bit biased? Am I? Nah, nah. Let's be serious here. I think, you know, both Nita and Lisa did an awesome job in this video. The song is great, really catchy. It's got a good mixture, I think, to show the diverse influence influence and the style, the diverse style they can they can do, you know, when it comes to music. So I think Nita, no doubt, she have proven now, showed you that she hasn't abandoned metal. She's just going to, um, you know, to inspire more people on the guitar, to bring more metal fans in. And um, the guitar itself, really well played. And it's a cool video. That's what I gotta say. Really well put together. But I hope you enjoy this music reaction. I hope you're gonna go check out the video again. And I'm gonna see you in the next video because I gotta go and do sound check right now. Now look at, can you hear all the noise happening? I gotta go do sound check, so please like and subscribe the video. I'll see you sometime soon in the next video somewhere else in this planet. All right, so I'll catch you later. Bye.